All right, welcome to day 14 of the Vera series. So hopefully by now you're level 80, but starting out, you wanna to go to our artificial island and then you wanna go back to build and then you wanna hit claim because you can only hold these resources for 24 hours. On top of that, we are approaching the weekend. So make sure you clear your enemies on your island. And today we have a new month. So that means we can buy the monthly items again. So if you have enough resources, feel free to go ahead and pick those up. Next, you wanna do your Mia's kitchen and then you wanna knock out your four bounties for the day. And I'm gonna go with Vera due to Star Week night. Next, we got Vitality, starting with joint operations. So for today, we got access to Boots and Sadness Valley. So both of these dungeons are actually pretty good, especially if you have an ice or fire team. So you might even want to use a few vitality solutions. Next, we have Interstellar Exploration. And remember, you want to check Vera as well as check Aspera so that way you can get all of your Stargates. You want to see if you have any level three Stargates. And the best way to tell is if this weapon battery category has a number three, it's a level three Stargate. And if it has a number two, it's a level two Stargate. But if you don't have any level threes or level twos, you could always do dimensional trials. And if you need money, you could always do space time domain but if you're a little pressed for time you could always do omnium beacon so that way your vitality does not cap which brings us to our optionals and that is giving gifts to your 1.0 characters and the best way to do that is to go to the black market see this island and do the claw machine and knock out your two trainings for the day but what is not optional is to do your six fun zones and if you can try to do your six gray space fishers and if you have a little bit more extra time i would focus on the twilight zone because it has better rewards but at least for this one there is no rush since it has a long long time limit. And if you need help on how to do any of those, I got a guide on my channel. Then don't forget to check on your appointed research to make sure that your energy does not cap because remember you can only hold 20 and you get five free energy a day. Then we got our event. So hopefully you've logged in enough to get all the things from the supply run. Then we have the gotcha event. This is the last day to do it. So if you are going to well out, do it today. And we got Star Weave Night. And remember you want to do your request missions and those are pretty simple to do. All you got to do is just defeat two Vera bosses, level up one weapon to 80 and perfect decipher three password chests. But the best way to clear out the store is to constantly join groups of Rudolph or Magma so that way you get that 500 energy every force decipher. But if you enjoy these daily guys, I would greatly appreciate a like so that way they can spread more on YouTube. And now for some free dark crystals. Hopefully you were able to play at least one match in Apex League because we just got a reward for the season. I was commander so I ended up getting 350 dark crystals because I played at least one time. But if you did not, I recommend that you just try to do at least one match this season so that way can get those dark crystals at the end of the month and unfortunately it looks like break from destiny we're going to get those dark crystals next month and the dark crystals keep on coming so it looks like lynn is finally getting her fixed tonight as well as fixing a few other issues the game was facing and we're getting a grand total of 700 dark crystals so tomorrow we should wake up and receive our 700 dark crystals as well as lynn working again in sequential fantasy which brings us to our weekly tab you want to make sure you do enough things down here so that we can get everything up top bringing us to our challenges so if you're trying to do something like the bygone phantasm or frontier clash you might want to save your mia's kitchen so that way you can power yourself up starting with the bygone phantasm so again i recommend that you take a look at this weapon bonus if you have a good weapon bonus you might want to try to do the sneak to next level and if your cs is high enough you're going to be able to jump up 11 levels as long as you can beat that floor then we have the sequential phantasm so if you have lynn i would probably wait on doing the right and the left one but you can feel free to go ahead and knock out the middle one and just go ahead and get a score if you want to not wait till the very last minute frontier clash now we got another attempt today so you can either go ahead and knock that out or you can just wait till saturday to knock it out and if you are a volt main hopefully you have a few friends that can carry you void riff if this is a first time boss for you you want to go ahead and knock that out wormhole we have two days left to complete this so if you are strong enough to do that you want to make sure you do that because you can get 640 energy crystal dust and the raids you want to make sure you knock out the last two on heroic mode and you want to do battle test area on heroic mode for the week and break from destiny so if you did not get a chance to play this last month i recommend that you do it this month so that way you can make sure you get your dark crystal reward and apex league if you're trying to reach grand marshal you might want to put a couple hours in each day but at least play one match this season and we got our daily buys so you want to go to shop hot then buy your two vitality solutions only if you can afford it but for me i'm going to go ahead and pass because i still have 105 but if you can't afford it i recommend that you buy your advancement modules and your booster 
booster modules for the week. And if you want to well out and try to get a visor, you already know about appointed research. Then we have the limited gift pack. And since it's December, we got a new monthly gift pack. I ended up making a video today talking about how worth these packs are. So if you're considering buying this, you might want to check that out. Which brings us to the commentary, starting with the Crystal Dust Store. So again, I recommend that you buy your advanced modules, your booster modules, and your very special gift. When it comes to your potent Omnium crystal, due to exploration alone, we should have enough to reach an 8.3, maybe even 8.4 suppressor. So I don't really recommend that you buy this. But what you can do with your golden crystal dust is buy a good pair of boots. If you have a good pair of boots, then you can buy a good pair of hand guards. And if you have a good pair of hand guards, then you can buy whatever else you want. Base time store. I recommend that you buy your booster modules, your advanced modules, and your data repeater for the week. Cruise store. Now the only thing you want to spend your points on are relic shards, and the relics that I recommend are space time rift, unless you have a level three or omnium shield. Support store. Now you want to make sure you buy your three joint supply chips for the week. And if you can, try to get the proof of purchase and go nucleus using return support points. And if you need help on how to do that, I got a guide on my channel. And point store. Now the only thing I recommend you spend your points on are spare special gifts. So that way you don't have to do training, black market, or see this island again. But if you need to level up your matrices or weapons, you could always buy a matrix data pack or weapon batteries. But besides that, I recommend that you spend most of your time exploring and completing the areas. We already got an announcement for people testing out patch 2.2. In patch 2.2, Point two, Meoria expands quite a bit. On top of that, there's also going to be other areas to explore. So if you're pretty behind on exploration, you might want to start focusing on that. But again, I apologize for this video coming out so late. I ended up getting tied up with a few real life things. But hopefully you enjoyed this, and if so, feel free to check out my limited pack guide. But other than that, talk with you guys later.